Thursday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks here on the 23rd day of June 2022. Hey everyone, it's Eric here with a look at the weekend beyond and we'll talk about some uh, cool things in the astronomy realm as well in this in this video. First, let's take a look backwards and you know, I've gotten a lot of comments of late that uh, people are having to water their gardens and their lawns and that more and more as we get deeper into the summer, uh, rainfall has been kind of sparse last week to 10 days. Now this map covers the last 14 days and it's influenced a lot by some of the wet weather we had about two weeks ago. Over the last week or so, some of us have had a couple of decent thunderstorms, some of us have not. We're still running above the average through the last 14 days, but over the last seven days, most of us have seen below average precipitation. And with the way the next week looks, I'm not real optimistic that we are going to see uh, any sort of plentiful rainfall around here through the rest of the month. Uh, you know, we have one chance of rain in this forecast. It's coming up on Sunday, which we'll talk about later in this video. But uh, yeah, it, it, it does not exactly look like a real uh, plentiful pattern in terms of rain. And, uh, the uh, drought monitor, something we haven't talked about yet this year. This comes out every Thursday uh, from uh, the National Weather Service and a uh, couple of areas uh, designated as abnormally dry right now. One closer to the Finger Lakes up in western New York, Panhandle of Maryland into uh, eastern West Virginia along the Blue Ridge uh, Parkway. Also some abnormally dry areas out here in parts of Indiana and Illinois. No abnormal dry designation right now in eastern Ohio, western Pennsylvania. This may change though by next Thursday given what our forecast is. But boy, it is nice outside. I mean, talk about uh, deep blue skies today as the atmosphere is dried out. Visibility just absolutely perfect today. Um, hardly a cloud in the sky all afternoon. It is an absolutely perfect summer evening to uh, maybe take a walk or just about do anything outdoors. And what a difference uh, 24 hours makes. The uh, The air is cooler, it is drier, our dew point change compared to 24 hours ago. Actually not as dramatic here locally as some other places such as Columbus and Cincinnati and Morgantown, but still, it is a huge improvement. Great sleeping weather coming up for tonight. Later on tonight into tomorrow morning, if you are an early riser, we've been talking a lot about this planetary alignment in the month of June. I've mentioned this in a few videos over the last couple of weeks. Well, t uh, tomorrow morning and again Saturday morning, this planetary alignment will be joined by the thin crescent moon. Tomorrow morning, say if you're up around 5.15, 5.30, before it gets too light out, check out that thin crescent moon between Venus and Mars. Now, as I've been mentioning, Mercury is kind of hard to see. It's low on the horizon and getting close to that rising sun. But if you have a clear view of the horizon and you get out early enough before the eastern sky starts lightening up too much, you can spot Mercury. But Venus is uh, really easy to see. It's really bright. Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn all easy to see as well. And they all just kind of line up along what's called the elliptic in our uh, nighttime and early morning skies. Not much to show you again on Futurecast over the next couple of days. High pressure. Drifts around, not a cloud in the sky for most of the afternoon Friday, and again on Saturday. And while Saturday will be warm, in fact hot, pretty close to 90, the dew points won't come up appreciably until Saturday night, heading into Sunday ahead of this next front. Now the timing of this uh, would be such that we'll have a dry morning on Sunday, but increasing rain chances in our forecast for the afternoon. I think after, say, 2 or 3, showers and some thunderstorms becoming pretty likely. Now will this be a severe weather threat? This front approaching at a favorable time of the day for severe weather, but the wind shear, the wind energy aloft, uh, is not especially strong. The atmosphere will be pretty unstable. It's going to be hot and humid. Um, but will we have a ton of shear? No. Um, but enough instability where could we have a couple of decent downdrafts, maybe uh, isolated instances of hail? Yeah, I think that'll be possible. It'll be interesting to see what uh, the Storm Prediction Center puts out for their Day 3 outlook for Sunday when that is issued tonight in the middle of the night, say at 1 or 2 a.m., my suspicion is we'll be put under that uh, low end one on that one to five scale risk. All right, so the moisture gathers, but just for 24 hours or so. So the dew points come up, but the atmosphere dries out in a hurry. Whoosh! By early next week. And boy, is it going to be fantastic outside again. Monday and Tuesday, it'll look a lot like today. It'll be even cooler than today, though. We got up to 81 today. Be hard pressed to get out of the mid 70s during the middle of next week. And so, uh, you know, we could use some rain, yes. But not much is coming over the next uh, week with one chance Sunday with showers and storms afternoon and evening. All right, short and easy uh, this evening uh, with not much going on. Uh, this will be the last weather for Weather Geeks until after the July 4th holiday. I've got some time off coming up, so uh, this very quiet pattern is kind of lining up with me being 
away from the office, which is always kind of nice. It means I can really fully disengage uh, for most of uh, at least the first part of my uh, time off. So looking forward to that. I look forward to seeing you back here on Tuesday, July 5th for the next edition of the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching. I will see you again in about 10 or 11 days.